Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about mangroves. These mangroves are a class of plants, they have the ability to withstand higher salt content in soil as well as the water and they have the ability to grow in lower, lower oxygen content that is anaerobic situation as well. And these mangroves are performing various ecological functions like protecting the coastal land from the fury of uh, hurricanes, floods and tsunamis. So they help in disaster management as well. And these mangroves are also acting as a habitat uh, for various flora and fauna of terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem since this is present as an ecotone. Okay? And let's just discuss about in detail about the mangroves. Mangroves are various large and ex extensive type of trees uh, growing up to medium height okay, in the form of shrubs that grow in saline coastal sedimental habitat in the tropic and subtropical areas of the world mainly between latitude of 25 degree north and south of the equator so if we observe uh, this uh, map uh, you can you can see the mangroves are extensively present between the 25 degree north and south of the equator so this mangrove has various adaptable mechanism uh, to suit uh, the coastal conditions so they are salt tolerant trees and these salt tolerant trees are called halophytes uh, they are adaptive to live in harsh coastal climatic conditions and they are adapted to low oxygen conditions of waterlogged soils as well okay and taxonomically uh, mangroves are broadly classified into five important families okay five important families and these are acanthaceae or avicennaceae so under this avicenna is the important genus okay and these uh, mangroves belong to acanthaceae are called black mangroves and the second important family is Combretaceae. This Combretaceae uh, mangroves are called white mangroves or buttonwood mangroves. And third family is called Arachaceae. This Arachaceae also has Arachna nut that is beetle nut uh, under this family. So this mangroves belong to Arachaceae are called mangrove palm. Okay, mangrove palm. And Rhizophoraceae, these Rhizophoraceae are called red mangroves. And Lithraceae, mangrove apple. So try to remember at least these common names of these mangroves, uh, if possible, this family as well, uh, as well, okay? And let's look at the important characteristics of mangroves. These mangroves are basically evergreen land plants growing on sheltered shores, typically on tidal flats, deltas, estuaries, bay, creeks, and the barren island, barrier islands. So these are the places where mangroves grow, that is delta, estuaries, bay, creek, and barrier islands and they have the psychological adaptation to salinity stress and to waterlogged anaerobic mud condition so they physiologically not psychologically adapted to the salinity stress so they have various mechanism to adapt to these conditions so these mangroves need abundant sunlight okay abundant sunlight and they have the ability to absorb fresh water from the saline water source. Since these are growing in the coastal areas, so saline water is a norm rather than an exception. So they have the adaptive mechanism to absorb the fresh water from the saline water. And these mangroves have a class of roots called nematophores. So these roots rise above the soil surface uh, to overcome the anaerobic conditions. They absorb the oxygen present in the environment to provide uh, oxygen to the plants. So this is the nematode force. They emerge from the soil surface, okay, uh, to withstand the anaerobic conditions. So this soil, as it seems, uh, do not have much oxygen. So to overcome this anaerobic condition, the roots are sent above the ground level to seek the oxygen from the atmosphere. So this is one of the adaptive mechanism. This is seen in Avicenna, Avicenna uh, species, as I discussed uh, in the families. And the rhizophora, this rhizophora uh, group of mangroves has prop roots. This is not the prop roots, sorry for the bad uh, misplaced uh, figure. Prop roots are like uh, that, like this. So you see these prop roots in the uh, uh, in uh, ficus plants, like they, they come like this from, from the tree to the ground. So this acts as a supporting mechanism. And leaves have an adaptive mechanism, leaves are very thick and produces salt secreting glands because soil contains higher salt content so in the way they absorb salt content as well and these salt are toxic to the plant system so they excrete salt in the form of granules from the leaves so this is an adaptive mechanism 
and they also another adaptive mechanism called viviparity here the seeds are germinated on the plant itself okay uh, in other plants seeds are not germinated seeds are germinated in soil okay but to overcome the saline condition that is salt water condition which is not congenial for the germination of the seeds seeds are germinated on the plant itself uh, in these mangroves to overcome this so this is another adaptive mechanism so the mangroves have stilt roots so this is the stilt roots they act as a advantageous roots emerge from the main, main trunk uh, for the support since these are uh, inhabiting uh, in the muddy and coastal areas so they need support so they employ advantageous roots like this so very important role of mangroves let's discuss about this the mangrove plants have special roots like prop roots nematophores and still roots that i discussed previously with the figures these special roots help to impede water flow so this restrict the water flow and the deposition of sediment in the areas is followed through this so they restrict the water flow and sediment are deposited in the area so thereby it stabilizes the coastal shores and it acts as a breeding ground for fishes and other amphibians like turtles okay so this is performing its ecological functions this is the one thing and these mangroves mangroves moderates the tidal floods so this acts as a shelter belt the, this restrict the flow of a, a high high speed water okay and this reduce the inundation of coastal lowlands so these stilt roots prop roots and these mangroves acts as a shelter belt so thereby reducing the inundation submergence of the coastal lowlands and this also prevents the coastal soil erosion so these roots that is nematophores stilt roots uh, they restrict the flow of um, soil okay uh, and this reduces the coastal soil erosion and these mangroves important function is that it protects the coastal land from tsunami hurricane and floods uh, this 2004 tsunami is evident that wherever uh, the mangroves are present the damage is very less uh, from the tsunami attack so this has another ecological functions and this also enhances the nutrient cycling of the nutrients okay and this supports numerous flora avifauna this avifauna is the bird species and wildlife so this has edge effect so the mangroves are the ecotone ecotone is the region between two different uh, different ecosystem that is the aquatic ecosystem and the uh, and the terrestrial ecosystem see this mangrove present between the forest and the aquatic ecosystem so this is the ecotone so this support various flora and fauna and the, this provides safe and favorable environment for breeding spawning and rearing of several fishes and it protects the coastal inlands and it also provides raw materials that is wood medicine plants edible plants for the uh, living community uh, living in the coastal areas and this also serves as a recreation uh, and tourist attraction so despite uh, these important functions of the mangroves mangroves has been under threat from the human interference approximately 35 percent of the mangroves area was lost during the last several decades of the 20th, 20th century and the re recent report by the unep that is united nations environment program estimate that the shrimp farming that is artificial shrimp farming causes approximately 25 percent destruction of the mangrove ecosystem so this is uh, the bad uh, interference by the human beings likewise at the 2010 update of the world mangrove atlas indicate that a fifth that is one fifth of the world's mangrove ecosystem have been lost since 1980 they are also destroyed for conversion of area for agriculture purposes uh, for getting fuel fodder uh, for the mining activities oil spills aquaculture the shrimp culture that i discussed here and use of chemical pesticide for the agriculture purposes and fertilizer and other industrial purposes these mangroves are destroyed and very important success story i would like to mention here is that a village in tamil nadu was protected from tsunami destruction uh, by these mangroves uh, that village is called naluveda pati sorry sorry for the bad pronunciation naluveda pati uh, this village uh, here this is the village sorry this is the village and this village planted 80224 sapling to get into the guinness book of world records okay this planted 280244 saplings of the mangroves all along the borders of the uh, coastal area that is all along the border of the village so since this uh, village is present in the coastal area so this 
same mangroves that is planted for the sake of getting into the Guinness World of Records protected protected the village from the fury of tsunami that struck uh, various parts of the world in 2004. So all the areas in and around uh, this village which was not protected by the mangroves was destroyed but this village was protected uh, because the mangroves acted as a barrier uh, for the tsunami waves. Okay, So this shows the success story where uh, if you protect the nature, nature protects you definitely without any fault. Okay, So thank you, thanks for watching. Please subscribe uh, to the channel. Thank you.